Hi, this video is going to be for Leo uh, for the month of November. Um, I've explained in, I'm going to explain in all the all the videos that, you know, not many people are interacting with the videos and it's all to do with analytics on YouTube and then, you know, people just not watching that uh, um, on my Facebook groups and stuff like that, Facebook and Instagram. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, I was, you know, I've ummed and as to whether I was going to actually do bother continuing doing these videos. Um, I've decided I'm going to do for this month. I'm going to put them out. I'm going to make them quick, short, sharp, to the point ones um, for this month because otherwise I'm just wasting a lot of time and effort and um, putting them up. And I'm going to see if, if, and if, anybody bothers to interact with them and if they do that'd be great and if they don't um then i might just um either cancel it all off altogether and just continue posting on facebook or instagram or um if people are interacting with certain signs which it seems to be a couple of the signs seem to be actually interacting um i might just continue to post for those signs um and just scrap the others um if the if there's no interest there so I've already shuffled the cards and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to take, I'm going to use the spirit song. For your overall message, which is going to be used as a oracle, we'll use it as an oracle type, type um, card. And we have the Knight of Feathers, which is action and focus. And I need to I need to wipe the lens because I've got fuzz on the lens. One sec, sorry about this. Apologies about that. So uh, we've got the Knight of Feathers, which is action and focus. So there's something that you're needing to look into. Uh, maybe that you're having to study something, look into something. Maybe you try to find out a truth about something. There may be something that is really playing on your mind that you are having to actively seek to get understanding of. Um, the Knight of Feathers would be the Knight of Swords card and this is a truth seeker this is someone who speaks their mind and someone who um goes out and puts it in sorry about that i knocked i knocked the video <laughs> i press it i pressed my thumb against the screen and knocked the video off um so this is with the knight of swords um the knight of swords is a go-getter it's someone that goes out it's someone that stands up for for what they believe and it's someone that goes after the truth um and they are determined they're quite determined they're quite a determined person so we're looking at the action and the focus of this card i'm going to see what comes up for those so i've already shuffled the decks and asked for the cards to be in place so for action we have the nine of swords and the nine uh, yeah the nine of swords sorry and the nine of swords is is the card of nightmares it's um so they say it's the card of stress and worry and anxiety so it may be that the action that you're taking is coming off the back of something what has had you very worried or it may be an action that you're taking in response it's like a tr like a trauma response to something um and this might not be the best action to take the knight of swords it can be a very impulsive person and they can be someone that rushes into something so it may be that something might have triggered you off and your your your, your instant gut reaction is just to rush it in and um maybe boot off about it, maybe kick off a bit about it, or maybe kind of you might get the wrong end of the stick. You might just see something that's being done and take it or perceive it wrong and jump on it and have the wrong end of the stick with it. There's a, I get a feeling of like the wrong end of the stick with it. So it may well be that you're needing to not respond 
to something instantaneously to take a minute so the action that you may need to take is to take a minute to be able to work through and think through everything because with the nine of swords what the nine of swords is is this this idea uh that we are allowing things to be more than what they are we're allowing you know and a lot of the nine of swords cards it's a projection you know you see like a shadow projection on a wall of some degree or some kind of thing that represents something being blown up or made into a bigger version of what it actually is something that's much scarier than what it is and you may your initial reaction to something may be to do this maybe to blow it up and to make it into something that it doesn't need to be so you may be jumping the gun with something and it's just a gut reaction from you and a gut and a gut action that you are taking so the action part of it here may well be to tell you that what you need to do is not allow things to be blown out of proportion. Try to restrain yourself from going rushing in to anything to um trying to try and you know, even if you're trying, you're rushing in and you try to sort something out, it could be that you're gonna make a matter worse or you're gonna make a matter where there wasn't really one to begin with. So it's that kind of hold back and, and and work through, have a look at what it actually is and take time to sit and think about what it actually is, what is going on and find a good solution for it. Find a good solution so you can see clearly what is actually going on and not be projecting or blowing up something to be bigger than what it actually is. So there's that feeling there. And with the focus we have the King of Cups. So with the focus with the focus we have the King of Cups and this is somebody who is in control of their emotions. This is somebody who can can have control of their emotions, can ra rein themselves in enough not to instantly react to this. So the focus for you is to get yourself to a place where you can subdue your initial reaction, which could be anger, rage, it could be um, fear, anxiety, it could be anything like that. But it, the focus for you is to try and rein this in and get into this King of Cups energy. So you are in control of your emotions and your emotions are not controlling you. Um, don't do it to the point where you're, you're, you're really aloof to everything because the King of Cups can be guilty of that. He can be guilty of becoming so detached that he's aloof what you want to do is to get to a good balanced place of it where you are getting control of your emotions so that you can work through things without being knocked off kilter without being knocked into the water without being drowned in the emotions or in the water so that's the focus for you so what you're needing to do is to rein yourself in get control of yourself so you're not rushing off into something or jumping into something or jumping the gun with something and making something so much more than what it needs to be because some, there's something that's going on around you where it is going to get blown if it's not already been blown out of proportion it's going to be blown out of a proportion and you have an opportunity now to be aware of this coming in or if this is going on to be aware of it and to have self-awareness of yourself to know that you have had a heads up about this. So you can now work on not reacting in a certain way and drawing yourself in so that you can work through it properly and get the information that you need to be able to work through something properly in a way where it's not going to knock you out of your emotions or out of balance. Okay, so I'm not doing a very good job with this. I've decided to hold the phone because I had it on the stand, but me, me, I'm knocking it because I'm sat on my bed I and mean, the mattress is moving. I'm knocking the phone so it was r rattling around more. I seem to be doing the exact same thing anyway. So I'm going to split the deck. I'm going to to do this last time. So I'm going to take you. I'm going to take you, I'm going to take you, okay, so we've got indecision, divine intervention and healing the throat chakra, so it's communication 
and this is what the swords are all about as well communication so it's healing the throat chakra maybe reining yourself in getting yourself under control so you're not um you might you you might be getting provoked or pushed to a point where you are losing your temper with someone or you're saying things that you don't mean to be saying, but it's out of fear or anxiety or, you know, even anger if someone's winding you up enough, it could be anger. But it's being able to, like the healing aspect of this with the throat chakra to me is about healing communications and being able to get it so to a point where you are being able to communicate clearly and to the point and not running away with things and not allowing people to communicate to you in a way that's going to have you running away with things so it's like the divine intervention here could well be that you see in this video and you're aware that something's going to come up that is going to be something that doesn't need to be as big as what it has the potential of being if we allow ourselves to just run away with it or to to blow it up into something much bigger than what it needs to be with the indecision here, this could be all be brought about because someone's not making a decision or someone's not making a choice on a matter that is important to you. Or it could be that a, a choice is coming to you and you can't choose. And because you can't choose, it's bringing up some kind of anxiety within you that is going to make you that's going to make you lose your temper or is it's going to cause you stress and, and worry. Um, this could be within a relationship because these are relationship cards. So this could be to do with a relationship and the whole issue here could be to do with a relationship or it could be that a relationship... Sorry, I'm doing a terrible job with this. A relationship, a relationship is suffering because of another issue, because of a separate issue. So because something else is going on where it's being made out or being brought up to be something more than what it is, it could be causing troubles within a relationship and it may be causing troubles with people that are close to you and around you and it may be causing a breakdown in communication with people close to you as well because if you're getting upset, angry, wound up, if you're becoming anxious, you might be speaking out a turn to the people close to you just just to try and vent or just try and get something off your chest so it may well be that it's whatever's going on here could have a knock-on effect into a relationship that you've got going on at the minute um so it's to remind yourself not to allow it to get out of control not allow it to be something that it's not to see it for what it is and not what it's being projected as so that you can get control of it and you can get your thoughts and your communication straight so it's not going to spill into any kind of relationships that you've got going on around this even if that's family if that's if that's a love relationship but just try not to allow other situations beyond your connections to spill in and seep in and cause issues around your relationship because you've you've got the knowledge You've got you. You've actually got the ability to be able to rein in your emotions and not allow things to get carried away like that. So it's down to you now. You can actually do this, and it's down to you to do this now. So it doesn't blow up and it doesn't create this disturbance within the relationship where communication might get a bit frayed because we're, we're feeling anxious or we're worried about something else because you know we can all do it it's it's easy to take things out on those that are close to us if we're frustrated or if we're upset and we don't realize like really the damage that we can be doing when we do that um but we do do damage when we do that so i'm gonna leave that one there for now so this is for leo okay bye bye